Let's take a look at using morphs on an object along with Metalink uh, that is being driven by Dynamics. Okay, so there's a there's a special setup that we need to do. Um, so I thought it would be a good thing to take a look at. I'm going to go over to layer two, and I'm just going to create a quick two-point polychain that we can use for our Dynamics. Add some segments here. Okay, something like that. Just move the two-point polychain, or it's not a two-point polychain yet. I'm just going to grab these points, hit delete. Now I got a two-point polychain. Okay, something like this. And I'm going to grab the top three points and add a selection set called fix. I'm not going to have those move around. Okay, so we've got our two-point polychain, we've got our character, and I'm going to send those over to layout. Okay. We'll go ahead and I'm going to go into bounding box for right now. Go to perspective. Just get a good look. Okay, so the blue and the the blue line in the center, that's our two-point polychain. Okay. And uh, let's go back to texture. I'm going to go over to the two-point polychain. P for properties, dynamics, cloth double click for fix I'm going to fix those three points and they highlight so that we know that they're fixed okay. come over to etc let's give it negative nine gravity we'll just use the cotton thick preset we'll come over to collision and we want it to be able to collide close that down add a collision object and just going to move that up say here and we'll keyframe that for keyframe 20. And then I'm going to move this back here. So our basic motion is boom. I kind of went through that fast because I really want to focus on how you allow your object to use Metalink and also allow for morph targets. Um, so now all we have to do is calculate. So I'm going to go to IKB calculate just so we don't have to open up the panel. And we can see that the two-point polychain is uh, definitely being affected by the collision object and by gravity. Now what I want to do is have my high-res object use the motion from the low-res two-point polychain. So that's where Metalink comes into play. In order for Metalink to work, I just need to select this object, M for motion options, parent it to the two-point polychain, come over to P for properties, Deform, add displacement, and I'm going to add Metalink. Okay, there we go. Now, I want to use this motion, but I also want to take advantage of a morph target. So I'm going to go ahead and add Morph Mixer. Come over here, raise this up. I'm just going to display all morphs, and um, let's go ahead and keyframe the mouse shut. Let me turn off Metalink and we can see that the mouth is closing. I'm going to turn the subdivision order to last so we get a better cleaner morph. Okay, so we have our morph. I'm going to turn on Metalink. Uh, my morph is gone. Uh, my morph is gone because Metalink is overriding it. Okay, and if I want to use Metalink and morphs, all I have to do is add Metalink Morph, Effects Metalink Morph. And what that allows you to do is use both Morph Targets and Metalink. Okay? So you need to remember that you need you would need all three displacements. You don't just use Metalink Morph. You have to use Metalink and Metalink Morph. And that will allow you to use your Morph Targets uh, along with any kind of uh, dynamic solution that you're using uh, Metalink for. So that's just a quick look at uh, Metalink, Metalink Morph, that allows you to, uh, to work with both. And it's easy to set up. You just have to remember that you do need uh, both Metalink and Metalink Morph. Uh, and then, of course, you would need a Morph Mixer if you plan on using uh, the Morph. So there's just a, a quick look at the setup.